What do you think the market is for Jordan Love right now, Rick? Well, that, that was interesting because I was thinking back, you know, uh, when Green Bay had Aaron Rodgers sitting in the wings when he was behind Brett Favre. And eventually they traded Brett Favre that went to the Jets for a year, and then we were fortunate enough to get Brett Favre uh, in Minnesota uh, with us. But Jordan Love, as you look at it, everybody has their college grades. Everybody scouted him and what they felt, uh, what type of quarterback he was going to be. It's hard right now to say where he is at in his progress as becoming a starting quarterback or how good a quarterback he's going to be. The only ones that know that technically are the Green Bay Packers. Because, uh, what, two preseasons ago, we didn't have a preseason uh, because of the COVID. Uh, and last year, you know, went down to three games. So basically, since he's been in the, uh, with the Green Bay Packers and have been drafted by Green Bay, you, you have a couple snaps that you've seen through the preseason, and that was it. And I don't believe he's really had any uh, significant snaps. Well, he did, he, did, he did have that start this past year when, you know, Rodgers famously did come down with COVID. So, I mean, he did have that one start against Kansas City. So there is tape on that. I guess Kansas City would know, but they're not in the market. So what do you think? No, like, but that, that's hard to, you know, you're going off of one game. Right. And, you know, when you're looking at that position, there has to be a history behind it because it's hard to judge a especially a quarterback off that one game. Right. So what do you think? Cause clearly he's available and you know, I don't know what your grade was I or if you were, that, if you were not looking at him because you had cousins locked up, like he was, you know, Garrett Cole with all that, uh, you know, guaranteed <laughs> money. But uh, what, like, what do you, what do you think? You know what like it is four years, four years later, it sure does look like a lot as it does. The, the money's going out today for these positions. Uh, right. But, so what do you um, what do you think the market is like? Gutekunz gets a phone call. Somebody's like, uh, they they'll I buy. I think it will be de- depend on the quarterback needy teams and you know where does Garoppolo? Because you know what Garoppolo is. You have a history with him. Mm-hmm. Uh, does Deshaun Watson get traded? Uh, does Trubisky get him? You know, you've got some a uh, pretty good feel of what Trubisky is and and what he potentially could be if he gets in another situation. Uh, so I think it's you have some options out there. Uh, Winston's still out there as well. So once the pieces start falling in place and these quarterback needy teams uh, make decisions, uh, then you're going to have probably a better idea of if, if Jordan Love is, is tradable or if Green Bay does want to trade him. But also uh, it's supply and demand too. And so- if – Teams are going to be more patient and say, well, I want to go look at Malik Wilson or you want to go get one of these, uh, Sam Howard, one of these quarterbacks in the draft and start fresh with one of them. Uh, then they may look at it that way as well. So would you, let's say, I'll, I'll put you in Gutekun's shoes. Do you call pl- places or would you say, you know what, uh, I'm going to hold on to him and, and make somebody call me? I, I, would, I would probably sit and be patient and see if anyone calls me uh, because he's cheap labor. He's still under his rookie contract. He's been developed in that system for the last two years. If something, God forbid, does happen to Rodgers, do they feel confident enough that they have a player in place that they drafted that can step in and help win ball games uh, if, if Rodgers is, is missing games due to an injury or, or whatever? Um, so you want to make sure that you still have some depth at that position as well. And, and probably you'd want to just stay patient because if you want to go out and sign a backup quarterback. I mean, Andy Dalton got $10 million last year, I believe. Um, so, um, and how much are these backup quarterbacks making right now? Well, if you feel that you have just as good of a chance to win in this league with Love than you do with one of the potential vet backup quarterbacks, Love's a cheaper price, he's younger, he's healthier, and he's been in our system, let's stay with Love. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.